reunited, but something even more important happened in Vizima. Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned from afar, and she was in danger. He was to find her at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest. How are we to fight a pestilence that changes form? None can be certain of his father. Sure hope Dudu hasn't met the same fate. Hey! Sod off! We're looting here! Not here for the loot. Interested in the sorceress who lived here. And we're supposed to believe that? Yeah. Most likely I did in some rat trap with the rest of them. Someone's gotta know more. I'd look for her in the Putrid Grove. Putrid Grove? Where is it? I wouldn't know. Rumor has it, it's a place for freaks and oddities. You'd fit in well there. Maybe. Thing is, gotta know how to get there. They say you gotta get there through the sewers, but you gotta enter them outside of town. Few know where exactly, though. Ask a beggar. Or spot yourself a thief. Follow him. Beggars and thieves gotta pay tribute to the King of Beggars. Word is, they do it in the grove. Mean to say the local beggars have a king? Crown, scepter, and all that? Wouldn't scoff, mate. King of Beggars, it's a moniker. Yeah, for a man who everyone in Novigrad respects deeply. And watch yourself. Menger himself don't even go to the grove. Someone call for me. Wonder why. It's Menga. Temple God! Thieving vermin to the confession chamber. What, but sir, what's the offence? This is some sorcerous bitchy shop. Think that gives you the right to steal her property? Well, sorcerers, majors of all types, are outlaws. But by law, the temple guard takes possession of their belongings. And the rule of law still holds in Novigrad. You know a bat can sniff out a moth a mile away. Got nothing to do with their sense of smell. It's about their hearing. Well, well. Man knows his bats. Here I thought you only cared about monsters. And as bats sense moths, so I sense freaks. And start by warning them. Novigrad's no place for your kind. Heard Novigrad was no place for mages. Now you're telling me it's no place for witchers. So who's it a place for? Righteous folk professing the one true faith in the eternal fire. Nothing I can do to you now. But just know that I know you're here. One misstep, one error. You'll make a mistake, it's inevitable. I'll be the first to learn of it. And when I do, it'll be standard procedure. Like for every magic oddity who dares taint this city's air. Be seeing you. Deepest apologies, Governor. Fetch some metal, you wretch. I've been robbed! Thief!
the, the darndest. You know the Ballad of Wonder? Uh, yeah, spawned heck. in Elf Garden. That is the... Uh. Aid a veteran of the struggle against the Black Ones. Where do you fight? Angering early on. In Sidaris last, along the banks of the Pontar. So, help me out. I'm looking for the Putrid Grove. Need you to help me find it. Don't know naught about no grove, putrid or other. Don't generally care much for orchardry. This is urgent. Leave me be, I don't know. The one thing that's plowing free in this city. Sorted for at least two days. Just gotta adjust the good position where they toss the lid over us. And springtime, the you know world's wet with pain. Sir, sir, be merciful. Give us a crown, eh? Me mum's sick, and if I don't feed her, well, she's like to die of hunger. Get out of my way. What's a crown to a gentleman like you? Is he spitting? Piss off while I'm still willing to let you go. Eat some overripe sheep's feet. Oh, good morning, he sensed something. Plants, Gotta stay further back. Like begging to be squeezed. Ah, oh, Fabian, it's unhealthy, this yen for wenches. It'll be your bean, I tell you. Oh, that's bad enough. Walking, walking, always behind me, walking. What the fuck? Need you to lead me to the alley they call the Putrid Grove. What the hell do you think this is? A fucking guided outing? You wanna find it? Sniff it out yourself, you lazy prick licker. Listen. 
I'm a witcher, don't much like cities, and I downright detest crafty little imps like you and having to chase them. As fate would have it, I gotta go to some shady dive known as the Putrid Grove. Thought I'd just walk around, ask some people, and find it. Turns out that's not how it works. I'm tired, and I'm angry. So if you don't take me there, I'm gonna have to kill you. <sighs> Come with me. Nosy bugger. Hmm? Yeah, terrible trait. Poking around where I probably shouldn't be, I know. But I gotta find the Putrid Grove. That's a secret place for secret folk doing secret business. And who's to say you're any good at keeping a secret? Me. You have my word. A freak's bilgy gas, not more. How stupid do you think I am? Grab the horse, son! Smash the bugger! This is... Get him! Keep it together, legs! Gotta get around him! Yeah! Oh. Oh. No. That's it! You're in for it! Nosy bugger. Yeah, tear poking around where that's a secret. No one. Grab him! Smash the bugger! That's it, you're in for it! <laughs> me! Leave it to me! Easy. Jumpy, are we? Sheathe your steel. Please? Got a simple question. You're gonna give me a simple answer. Where's the putrid grove? In... In Lysol's. Down an alley. Man, guarding the gate. Gotta give him the password. What is the password? Old sows. Farrowed piglets. See? 
Just gotta make the effort. Watch it, Cryhead. Looking for a rise. Oh, I rhyme. Perfect. Thing I piss me trousers. Open up. Who are you and what do you want? Take a look. What do you see? Yellow eyes. Pair of swords. Mutated killer, me thinks. Heard this place was a meeting spot for oddities. Heard right. Know the password, get him free. Don't know it. Got to contribute to the Graves upkeep. I like to tiptoe through the tulips. No, not the password. Don't know the password. Pay up then. I won't pay. Let me in. Yes, sir. Convince those knaves on the city council that spells are not needed on a wall. Positively indispensable. Was lining. This is how it is. More and more than the rest of the clinic. About time we made something clear, sorceress. Yes, high time. Me and my men will manage just fine without the help of you or any other mages. But you, well, without our help. You're sitting ducks for the temple guard. Who do I spy? Geralt? Hey, Triss. See you two know each other. See you two know each other well. I was curious whether you'd managed to find me, Witcher. Your spies tell you I was looking for the Putrid Grove? My skull would be a home for bottom-feeding river fish if I didn't keep an ear to the ground. And please, Putrid Grove? Ugly name for our cozy little hideout, wouldn't you say? Temple Guard tolerate your little operation? Let's say they appreciate the value of a Novigrad crown. Hmm. Manga doesn't seem like the type that can be bought. Anyone can be bought. But like is true, Manga had cost me a fortune. Luckily, he's got officers, and they're mere mortals. Illnesses catch him at times. Other times, they want to catch a bit of diversion. See, Witcher? I've got plans. Big plans. Far-reaching plans to reshape this city head to toe. Ever thought of seeking a seat on the City Council? City Council is a puppet troop with a hierarchy of the Church of the Eternal Fire as its puppeteer. Until recently, that is, when Radovid and his witch hunters took the reins. 
The semblance of power don't interest me. You face the temple guard and witch hunters armed to the teeth, and all you've got's a gang of tramps and a handful of mages. I wouldn't bet a single crown on you. Nor would I. Not at the moment. But war shuffles the deck. In wartime, folks start to understand things. Start to wonder why magic's outlawed, even though it's so damn useful. Folk come to me knowing full well it's forbidden. You know why? Because they fear death by disease more than torture. I'm actually glad someone like you's found his way to our city. Because it will be our city one day, Geralt. Mark my words. Yours, plural. Yeah, mine. And me friends. But that's a tale for another time. For now, I'll leave you two alone. Because I can see, well... You clearly need it. Geralt, I have a lot of things to take care of in town. I'll be glad to tag along. What's your arrangement? He using you? Helping me to survive, actually. Six months ago, if somebody said Triss Marigold would be working for a Novigrad criminal, I'd never have believed it. Six months ago, Triss Marigold parted with someone very dear to her and had to... Madam Sorceress. Beautiful as ever. Damn shame to part. Don't fret. Bound to be back soon. I take it you're a Novigrad on important business. Important doesn't do it justice. I'm looking for someone. More precisely? Young woman, who's like a daughter to me. Her? Here? No, impossible. She was here. There are witnesses, evidence. Was hoping you'd heard something. You've been here a while. I need you to help me find something, anything, a trace. I'll do everything I can, of course. Who might know more? Hello, Klug. Managed to get those magic incense ingredients? Yes. Somewhat with uh, difficulties, you might say. I was walking along the canal with a sack full of goodies for you. Looked up and spied a trio of temple guards coming the other way. Get to the point, Klug. No time today for one of your long stories. Wait! A sack full of magicalities and they were coming straight towards me. I don't easily frighten, but uh, I'm afraid I had no choice. I dropped the sack in the water. I had to. When asked why, I claimed it contained a dead cat. You shan't believe this. But they believe me. I need that package, Klug. I've got a contract. It must be on the canal bed. Luckily, it was heavy enough to sink. I'm sure it'll turn up if you search. You expect me to pay you, then die for my goods into that ice-cold filth? Well, some causes require a sacrifice. Causes? What about people? For people, same holds true. So, maybe you care to dive in after that sack for me? You win. Stop. Hear that? They've come for us. The fool didn't break until I began to prick his heels. Every man's got his sensitive spots. Interrogated a mage once. Pain couldn't touch him. Tore off his fingernails, crushed his bollocks. Nothing. Turned out. He was devilishly ticklish. I placed a beetle on his belly and set a mug atop it. Damn near went mad. We were lucky this time, but... You'd best leave via the sewers. The trapdoor's in the floor. Take care of yourself, Klug.
word is, maybe it's gonna be a shame. Should be an exit here. Clint wouldn't have said it here if there wasn't. Must be a lever on this wall that'll open the secret passage. Free city of Novograd. Name actually used to mean something. The very reason so many mages came here after the massacre at Loch Nguyen. I thought they'd be safe from Radovid's reapers. Instead, they jumped out of the frying pan into the fire. But Novigrad stands on top of a mountain of coin, and winning a war takes three things. Coin, coin, and even more coin. That's why they're exterminating mages, confiscating their property and possessions. And they'll go after non-humans next. The elves are... Judging by what Klug said, the parcel should be around here on the bottom. Unless the Purman was mistaken. He's been forgetful ever since Manga interrogated him. Seems to be suffering from a persecution complex, too. Current must have carried the sack seaward. I'll swim towards the port. Coming with? Uh, maybe some other time. Don't know what you're missing. Water's thick with pungent oils. Guessing it'll do wonders for my complexion. Find the parcel? Or did you get wet for no reason? Nothing like a refreshing swim in a filthy canal. Found a few fish, a rusty anchor, the carcass of a boat. Oh, and this. Oh, my package. Hope the contents aren't soaked through. Oh, you're a doll. Seem to be in your... Still remember my elements? How I use them? Come on. Six months isn't that long. It's not like I'm senile. But you do have a history of amnesia. I've recovered my memory completely. Good. That should stop people from taking advantage of you. Someone's been taking advantage of me. I have, for one. I've never even intimated. We need to hurry. It's raining again. Greetings, sorceress. Greetings, Brandon. I didn't expect you to bring company. Is that a problem? By the eternal fire, no. 
I'm surprised, that's all. Together, I expect you resolve things twice as fast. You've the look of true experts. But I'd prefer you not to tarry and begin. Triss, you and Brandon here. You've agreed a price. We settled on a full coin purse. Brandon and Co. is a serious outfit. We've the largest granary in all Novigrad. You're a merchant, familiar with how commerce works. Of course. Honest pay for honest work. Half up front, half once the job's done. You're asking a great deal. I'm a witcher. Gotta admit, I've met my share of people who say one thing beforehand, another after the fact. Mm. Very well. Your first installment. We need to place these crystals around the granary. Near anything that looks rat-related. No. Warehouse job won't wait, you know. Looks like a good spot. I don't like that guy. Brandon? I don't either. He's much too fat. Can't help but agree. But no. Notice how he didn't try to haggle? Must really want the rats out. Triss, he's a merchant. He makes his living by haggling. If I worried about that sort of thing, I'd starve to death in this city. Think I plugged every hole in there. All right. Get ready for some magic fireworks. Once I activate the incense, we'll have a moment to talk. Well, now we wait for them to scurry away. Interesting method. Never had much luck with rats. Once, I hit one with a fork in complete darkness, trying to show off my witcher's senses. Masterful throw, really. Problem was, no one else saw it. How could they in the dark? <laughs> so, what do you think? Rat catcher? It's a long way to fall from being advisor to Temeria's king. I'm just glad to see you safe and sound, and... Reconciled? I was worried about seeing you again. Doubted it could be pleasant. We said everything there was to say six months ago. I don't want to go back to that. I'm not going back to it. It's just... It's one thing to say something, it's another to actually do it. We promised to remain friends. I hope nothing will change that. So, tell me how Yen's doing? How do you know I found her? You didn't answer my question. How's Yen? Don't know yet. Asking about anything specific? Never mind. I got my answer. Well, well. Are lovebirds having themselves a little chat instead of working? The job's done. Geralt, those are... I know who they are, Triss. My friends begged me to notify them if I encountered a mage, sorceress, what have you. Didn't have the heart to refuse. It's a trap, Geralt. This stank from the start. Let's agree your friends were never here. Now pay the rest and let's part in peace. You don't set the terms, mutant. Stay out of it. We're here for the witch. We're inseparable, see? Afraid you'll have to take us both. Geralt! If you say so. All right, we've talked. Do what you gotta. Just remember, I can't help but get in your way. Heard enough from this horse, son. 
As have I. Neither is to leave here alive. assumption he wouldn't have to pay me, duped and trapped like a child. If not for you, we need to find Brandon. Don't kill me. Good sir, no. They forced me. Had I not told them, they'd have set fire to my home, my warehouse. The mage hunters know no mercy. Spare me, good man. Be not like those murderers. Shut up. I should kill you. Thing is, you'd be no good to anyone but the gulls as a... <laughs> Fine. Your coin. Now, get. Thanks, Geralt. You should try to keep better company. He was still better than some mages. You know, I've been thinking who might know something about Ciri. There's an Oniromancer in town, Kareem Tilly. Very capable, supposedly. Never trusted in Dreamer's abilities myself. Kareem's been very effective. You should at least try. She's taken a job close by. Follow the canal, away from the fish market. The house is near the first bridge. Its owner, Dijon Kier, is a rich banker. Not coming with me? I've got some things to take care of. Another rat-infested warehouse? Not exactly. Nothing even remotely satisfying. Such are the times. It was nice to see you again. You too, Geralt. You should go now. Before Corrine goes back into hiding somewhere. What if I want to find you? I live in the Bits, near the fish market. Stop by. It'd be nice. All right. See you later. Hey, you. See the new frog? Just passing by, wanderer? Or do you seek something specific? Who's asking? Rudolf de Jonkier. Of those de Jonkiers, yes. My ancestors laid the foundations of this city. I now own its largest bank. Didn't need a recommendation. Name would have been enough. Father always said, all ought to know your merit, son. Don't hide them under a bushel. I'm looking for Corrine Tilly. Oh, you've come to the right place, then. Corrine is inside. Been there for a few days, dreaming the home's history. I'd like to go inside, look around. I don't usually let strangers rummage around my home. Twin swords, though. You're a witcher. You may enter, call that my whim. The truth is, we're already dependent on the black buttons.
us blood. Don't spare it. Please. Wake up. It's just a dream. Wake up. The doll. The attic. All right. Time to check the attic. Stop! Go away! Don't do that. Leave it! Wait, the next room's blocked. Blood! Don't spill it! Please! Strange stuff. A doll. Drawing shows it lying in a cradle. Stop! Maybe I should find it. Go one. away! Put it down, please. That's blood! Don't spill it! Please! Another masterpiece. An oven and a blackened grate. No oh joy. A riddle. Saw an oven in the cellar. Maybe I'll find another clue there. Stop! Go away! Don't do that. Leave it! Did I scare you? Scared you, didn't I? I can tell you were scared. Big brave man scared of wee little Sarah. Ain't that funny? I wouldn't do that anymore if I were you, Sarah. You might scare someone so bad they'll hurt you. Why would someone hurt me? Having a spot of fun's not allowed anymore. What are you playing? That lady fell asleep, and I've sent her some horrible dreams. I'll not her wake, neither. I can do that, you know. Funny, isn't it? Very funny. Thing is, I gotta talk to the dreamer, so I'd like you to let her wake up. Little Sarah doesn't want her to wake. Little Sarah wants to play. The way you play, well, it's only ever fun for you. That's because you're a dullard. All you humans are dullards. You give the dreamer nightmares and won't let her wake up. Why are you tormenting her? I'm not tormenting anyone. Scary dreams are great. What I love is when this big hen chases me. Hen's got these red... Why do you live in a haunted house? Tell you a secret. <laughs> the house ain't haunted. Not one bit. I just pretend it is. Make everyone think that. It was sitting there all empty. 
So I moved in. Bigwig from the bank then came and bought it. I don't like bankers, especially not to live with, so I decided to give him a scare. Gave the banker a really big scare. See, he paid a lot for this house and won't give it up easily, which is why you need to find another home. I don't want to! I don't! I won't! See, now I want to do this the nice way, but you just won't let me. What will you do to me, eh? 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 Burdock. Godlings hate the scent. How would you like a whiff? You're stupid and a pig! One to you, young man. Hairs all agree, but by your face and straight back, I know you to be in your youth. Greetings. What do you sell? Herbs, young lad. I've all sorts gathered near about. You'd be surprised what useful plants grow by the roadside. Not that surprised, actually. Monk's hood, for instance. Lovely blossom. Soothes aches and pains, but just a handful and you could poison a whole family. A very useful plant. Yeah. What else would you recommend? Have a look, young man. You seem learned in these matters, so I'll show you my special stock from under the counter. You just might have the herbs I need.
Take care. Who are you? Triss Marigold sent me to see you. Gods. Horrible nightmares. I was supposed to dream the history of this house. Instead, I saw furniture. Hungry furniture that wished to devour me. I know it must sound foolish. But in the dream... Well, it was all too real. And not at all amusing. The work of a godling. She made people believe the house was haunted. Also injected your dreams with her little jokes. And you managed to wake me. I feel fortunate. We witchers have our ways. I thank you. Very much. The dreams, they were awful. Any way I can pay you back? There is, actually. I'm looking for a young woman who was seen in Novigrad. I can certainly try to help. But I'll need to clear my head first. After those deranged dreams, I feel it's full of cobwebs. Find me at the Golden Sturgeon. I rent a room there. All right. See you there. Ah! Listen to it. I saw Miss Corrine leave, but she refused to speak to me. Is the matter is a... Burn some burdock in the stove. Godling couldn't stand the smell and fled, and Kareen simply awoke. Anyway, house is clean. Excellent. I must admit the experience has put me off the building. I shan't keep it. I'm mindful of the reward I owe you, and you'll receive a sizable commission. As soon as I'm... I'm able to sell the house. Come by from time to time and ask. The De Yonkiers never break their word once given. Thanks. Help! Save me! I'm dying! Oh, no, you how are you? could you? Look for your kind beyond ah! you. Oh. I don't love You need something sharpened? What do you have?
So long. Not swords. Show me what you have in stock. Notice by chance. Not quite, but what's it about? Not just some voyage. Cross the sea. Mark this. When I got pressed into the infantry in 1242, I promised my beloved letter I'd return alive, whole, and with a pearl from Skelliger. Not just any pearl either. A black one. The rarest and most precious. Well, well. Ambitious. Perhaps, but they were empty words. I came from the war, that one and the next, but I never fulfilled my promise. I time to change that. For if not now, then when? Thing is, I've grown old in the meantime, as you see. Can't manage it alone, need a strong shoulder to lean on. And which are shoulders as strong as they come. So, what do you say? Plan's crazier than it is sane, but there's an irresistible charm to it. Offer me some pay and I'll help you out. Don't you fret about coin. I brought home a good deal of it from various fronts. Say we meet in Skelliger, by the collapsed bridge near Arenbjorn. It's but a hop away from the bed where black pearls are born. Will that work for you? Sounds fine. See you there. Why not hit your waist like everyone else? You may see a challenger. Look for your Six kind to beyond you. Oh, I'll drive them. Look familiar. Oh. Apparently, some dwarves oh. open a brothel oh. to know the crowd. No glass they say he's tastes as sweet. No, oh, you oh. make a fine sailor. Taste it. A dream in here. Never witnessed a seance like this before, let alone participated. I will guide you. You must first achieve a kind of mental accord. I must ask some questions. You must answer them. It's important you're truthful. Answer from your heart. Let's begin. To start with, tell me a memory you have of this woman. What for? Do as I ask, please. I need the strongest, most complete memory you have of... Siri. The woman's name is Siri. Siri was orphaned during the Second War with Nilfgaard. 
had no idea what to do with a young girl. So I did what I would have done with a boy and took her to Kaer Morin. Figured some physical training, sword work, development of her stamina couldn't hurt. I remember her standing on a crumbling wall. A stone came loose. She lost her footing. Caught her at the last possible instant. Strongest memory, though, is of her coming out of her room one day, wearing a dress and claiming she was indisposed. Knew then that Siri was maturing. It was unavoidable. I was lost in the face of that. I see. Do you wish to tell me anything more? No. Let's continue. You claim the woman has abilities. Tell me about them. She's a child of the Elder Blood. A descendant of Bloody Falker? The rebel burned at the stake. The prophecies claim the world's destroyer will be born of the Firebrand's cursed blood. Pure legend. No one a legend transforms into prophecy. When it gains believers. I think you're right to be reticent in talking about the woman. I see. Do you wish to say more? No. Can we start? Naturally. I knew you cared about her. But your tone, the emotions you so carefully conceal. Let's continue, please. Make yourself comfortable and try to relax. You must take my hand and talk of Siri. Tell me where you think she might be. Who could be at her side? Mm -hmm. If Siri couldn't find me, I'm sure she would have looked for another friend. Who do you mean? Maybe Dandelion. They liked each other a lot. of a swallow at first. After that, just nightmares. At times the dreams can multiply. Show the past as well as the future. The swallow. It symbolizes Siri. She contacted Dandelion. I didn't know he was in town. The poet? Heard about him. Someone left him the rosemary and thyme in their will. Thanks for your help. Good luck, Witcher. I hope you find your Siri. some fellas out, Master. We're a bit of coin short another round. Cause we're comrades, see? Witcher, ain't you? We're butchers. You slaughter, we slaughter. Except witchers earn more. Old villagers pitch in. Lords out with their purses. Ladies do like with their legs. Guess I've been to the wrong villages. Dealt with the wrong lords and ladies. Come on, don't make us beg. 
What's the wish you for, anyways? It's to help men in need. You boys look tired. Probably ought to go home now. Well, how long we've been drinking now? Two days. Well said, Master. A home we will go. Is the material ah. well? Another drifter in from Tamaria. No discounts, no trouble. Let's dance. Suspicious to me, scrap. Ah! You look familiar. I'll never come back, you stinking scrap. Next time I'll rip your fucking legs off and shove them up your ass till you've toes for teeth! <laughs> Gear up in the nick of time, as always! Zoltan, with your boot to someone's ass, as always. Who were those men? Local color. I wasn't they going more than a moment. Long enough for them to turn our home into theirs. All right, time for some spring cleaning. I've got to boot them all out. Care to join me? With pleasure. Fuck, he come on! <gasps> we can't kill him! Of a piece of your. Yeah, almost like we never left Vergen. Keep it together, legs! Slow to the ground! Die, fool! I'm pleased. That went well. Now we can greet each other like the gods ordained. Ages, pal. Hey, Zoltan. You look good. Training plenty lately. What with the war on, no Mahakaman meat to be found, but Redanian lagers standing in just fine. You, though, you've withered a bit. Something worrying you. It's about Siri. I know she came to Novigrad. Might still be here. You mean she's come back? I'll be damned. 
I wonder if I'd recognize her. How many years is it now? Six? Seven? But what'd she be doing here? Hiding, probably. She might be in danger. See her in your dreams? Couple times. Her and the Wild Hunt. Oh, not good. Not at all, but I know she came here and contacted Dandelion. <sighs> we have a wee problem then. Where's Dandelion? <laughs> I'd like to know that myself. Maybe he could explain what the hell's going on. Well, just barely returned, as you saw. I'm expecting to come home to your hot leg of boar and some cold ale. And what do you find instead? A shite storm. Dandelion gone, the tavern chock full of bums. Have no clue what happened. Mm. Let's look around. Might find something that'll put us on his trail. Prime idea. I say we start on the ground floor. It's where he sat and wrote. Ten barrels of Toussaint Dry, five cases of sodden triple mead. Hmm, nothing here. No, 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 no! That's exactly what we're looking for! It's his planner! Seems Dandelion's taking the tavern business seriously. If you only knew. Gives it everything. No seen him this obsessed.